Ohio people. It is a beautiful day in Kyoto. It is not too cloudy, not too uh, windy. And it's definitely not raining, which is such a relief. And uh, also it's not too hot, so it's exactly perfect. As you know from my previous uh, vlog, I'm back from uh, Mount Fuji. But I do have uh, some <laughs> leftovers, you could say. Not just from Mount Fuji, but uh, from just uh, all the time. Since I've, I've started uh, vlogging here in uh, Japan, I've uh, had quite a few uh, uh, clips that uh, have built up and uh, haven't, uh, I haven't been able to uh, utilize them yet because they didn't, either didn't really fit into uh, the, the vlog itself or uh, just uh, for some other reason. But uh, yeah, so I figured this uh, week's vlog might be a good time to just include them since there's nothing really huge going on. I've mainly been just studying and, and just uh, doing other stuff uh, but I do have some some uh, you know stories to tell for example there's this uh, restaurant that I always go by called uh, Coco's and uh, it's just uh, every time I, I looked uh, inside it just looked amazing and I really wanted to try it out so I one time when I was just going back home I was like okay this is this is the perfect time to try it out. The food was so good and it wasn't the most expensive either. In total I spent like 3,000 yen. Even though I, I ate uh, soup and uh, some... I ate soup, steak and uh, even a d dessert. When I was looking at the menu I, I saw that there, there was a portion of uh, potato chips. Uh, french fries basically uh, that I could order. And uh, here in Japan they from what I could tell, uh, they mostly eat it uh, as a uh, snack before the meal or, or during the meal, but it's not exactly the side dish. Uh, usually the side dish is the uh, rice. I do love rice and, and I think I like rice more than I like uh, fries, but uh, there are some foods which I like uh, fries more with. Uh, for example, steak, which I ate. And uh, I knew that I was going to order a steak, so I ordered the french fries earlier and uh, and then I ordered the steak and the, the waiter warned me that there is no side dish with the steak so are, am I sure that I don't want some rice with it and I was like yeah 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 I'm I'm quite positive but he was like but there is no rice with it am I really sure and I'm like yeah 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 no problem so I ate it with the french fries <laughs> Yeah, the rest I think is just clips of me going to places, uh, eating all sorts of things. So ever since I've come to uh, Kyoto, and actually I should say just Japan, just the, the variety of food that I can eat just uh, from buying uh, stuff at the uh, convenience stores to going to these uh, small uh, restaurants and, and eating there, it's just quite insane. I saw some friends eating shawarma yesterday and I... I got really hungry and I really want to eat one so I'm, I'm going to eat a, a kebab right now. I found one that seems to be good. Hi guys, so I found the best kebab place in yes, Kyoto. very nice, this is good, thank you so much. Yeah. This is great. Japanese for month, very nice good. Very nice, indeed. Delicious. Sugoku oishi. Oishi, mechakcha oishi. Mechakcha oishi. No, ichiban oishi. So I'm drinking beer. Turkish beer, Turkish beer, Turkish beer. Turkish so good, so good. You and another Botamia. Kyoto. I've I've really missed kebab since yeah. coming here, yeah. so I, I was like, oh, finally. <laughs> Although I do uh, miss some uh, good uh, bread as well. Unfortunately, the bread here is the this sweet type of really soft bread, and uh, it's not really the the, the, the bread that uh, Europeans would be uh, used to really. So um, that's one thing I miss. I did. Uh, there are a lot of uh, bakeries here in Kyoto, so you can buy some baguettes and and uh, whatnot. But 
I am thinking about uh, trying out the recipe which uh, which can be baked uh, even without an oven because I do not have an oven at home it's quite common here in Japan to not have an oven uh, you would uh, probably have to buy a separate oven uh, if, if you wanted to use it and, and usually the, these ovens come as uh, microwaves as well as uh, ovens so they're quite useful but uh, because the apartment sizes aren't that big there's just not a whole lot of room for an oven I found a recipe which uh, doesn't use an oven and, and I can basically bake my own uh, bread uh, so that is going to be interesting I'm definitely going to try it out uh, I did try one uh, such thing out with baking powder already and it was okay uh, it was edible uh, I wouldn't say it was the best I want to try something else with uh, um, I want to try a different recipe with yeast uh, one thing that uh, was interesting to me is that uh, since I've, I've uh, barely used uh, the uh, the gas stove so basically even though I haven't used it all that much the monthly uh, payment uh, was still quite high uh, quite high in regards to what I, I thought it would be because uh, it's not that big like it, it was under 3000 yen but it's still I haven't I've barely used the the uh, stove and uh, the, the reason for this was that uh, even though even though I barely used it, there is a fee for using it, and uh, basically, if I've, I, I would pretty much pay the same price even if I used it a lot. So maybe it would be a good idea to start using it more, so that I, I get more bang out of my buck. I do want to try to uh, start uh, cooking for myself more and more because there are some things which are cheaper uh, when going out and and uh, and uh, just uh, ordering it. Uh, but uh, you can save a lot of money if you know where to look and, and what to do. So I think that's what I'm going to uh, try to do from now on is just to, um, just to be self-sufficient completely in, in that regard. I do like to cook, uh, so it, it shouldn't be a big problem, but uh, it is just a matter of you know being lazy about washing the dishes, let's just be honest, because uh, there is no dishwasher in my house, obviously. I, I would love a dishwasher because I, I, I hate washing the dishes by hand. But yeah, uh, that's basically it. Uh, and uh, here are some clips of uh, foods and, and whatnot that I have not yet included uh, in my previous vlogs. Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Joro and uh, we have uh, finished climbing Mount Fuji yesterday. Uh, I'll, I'll get into the more details later but uh, for now we're uh, here in Tokyo for our last day and uh, we're enjoying some food at this uh, Okonomiyaki place. I mean the chicken is absolutely delicious, the salad was great as well and they are bringing uh, our Okonomiyaki. Will you, will you eat? Oh, maybe. Yeah, we'll if your skills are good, I will. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. And, uh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man, man. These are the ingredients for the uh, Okonomiyaki. Mm. Okay, so basically, what I'm going to be making or attempting to try to make is uh, Okonomiyaki, which is uh, often called the Japanese pancake. It's, it's not sweet at all, but there are all sorts of ingredients in it. And um, it's basically just batter at the bottom and then all the ingredients. We pour the ingredients out, make a circle, and then just slowly but surely mix the batter together so it all stir fries very nicely. We shall see if I can manage to not burn it. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it.
that's the end product. I mean, it looks okay right now. It looks great. We shall see how it tastes. <laughs> that is where it, that is what may, makes and breaks the whole food experience, right? Yeah. Itadakimasu. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did like share and subscribe because I, I, I do need the word to spread and, uh, and yeah I'll see you next time bye bye it is definitely edible I couldn't mess it up <laughs> I tried though <laughs>